Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Lurch and welcome back to my Iron Man account. Uh, as for last episode, got a major goal done out of the way, which was a black mask. Also managed to get up to 1491 total and 212 quest points. So uh, yeah, moving on up in the world, but my plans for this episode is I'm going to be Barrows ready, which means I'm going to have the Mauritania Hard Diaries done, which do re does require 70 prayer, and I'm only sitting at 57 at the moment, so it's roughly around 1k dragon bones I'm going to need there. And also, I've got a lot of questing to do. So, without further ado, let's kick it off. And starting off the episode with a hard casket from Cave Horrors. Oh, nice. Actually, I'm pretty sure I've only got a green. I do, it's in my fucking thing. Green dehyde body into a blue dehyde body G. And there we go. There is the great brain robbery quest complete. Uh, I was just in the mood for some questing, so I thought, why not? Some nice rewards there, including this lamp. Uh, probably not the smartest idea, but I'm really craving some prayer XP, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on prayer, and that'll get me to level 58. Just making myself some super energy potions, and there is level 58 herb lore. And this right here should be another rune crafting level. And uh, yeah, there we have it 8.8k XP, level 48. And here I have level 76 farming. Alrighty, and cutting this stone should be the end of the Haunted Mine quest. Done, 22k strength XP, access to the Tarn's Lair, which I will be doing in a minute. And should also get a nice salve amulet. And a strength level, sweet. One step closer to Mauritania Hard Diaries, done. There we go, there is the Tarn's Diary mini quest complete. Go ahead and grab myself the book in here real quick. Yoink it off the table. Whoop, maybe I'll get a cutscene first, never mind. Come on, let me yoink it. There we go, straight off the table, and I'll head to a bank. Alrighty, so I'll just go ahead and read the diary and then use it on my salve amulet. I'll now be enchanted, sweet. Also, I don't think I mentioned it, but the, uh, the Salve Amulet actually gives 15% uh, strength, accuracy, and defense against the undead. And with it enchanted, that uh, boost now goes to 20%. And then I can also make it even better by imbuing it, which I will do in the future. So there's been something I've been putting off for a while now, and that is crafting. And uh, to do Lunar Diplomacy, I actually need level 61. And I've heard a really good way of crafting now is by using giant seaweed for glass making. And that's something I've never tried before. And uh, to do giant seaweed, I actually need to get myself some flippers. So yeah, I've just done the mini quest for this. And uh, the drop rate is 1 in 64, so hopefully it shouldn't take me too long. But uh, yeah, I'll see you back with some flippers. Well, I got really lucky because there they are on the floor. Flippers. Throw them on real quick. Give them a sus. Ah, lovely. Now, I'm going to check that kill count because that, uh, that was not many at all. Where am I looking? 22. So yeah, I got pretty lucky on the flippers. Just got another mystery box, hopefully a stale baguette. Oh, clue scroll, nice. Just gathering some more hop seeds and there is level 59 thieving. Alright, and there is my first run of giant seaweed done. And uh, while it might only be 30, let's see how many that is, 36, each giant seaweed actually burns into 6 soda ash, so yeah, really nice. Just finished off the easy clue that I got from earlier. Oh, nothing good. Kind of a random level, I was just doing the uh, Mauritania Medium Diary, and there is level 59 Herb Law. Alrighty, just finished up with all of my medium tasks in the Mauritania Diary. Go ahead and throw this on Herb Law. Should be a nice 7.5k XP. And there we go, there is the Garden of Tranquility done. 5k farming XP, 2 quest points. And uh, the main reason I've done that is it is a requirement for Swan Song and also a medium diary for Falador. Ah, uh, for Varok, sorry, which I'm pretty sure I can do right now. Yep, medium task done. Lovely. Just came across a dragon impling. Getting pretty lucky with these. Second one I've found out in the wild. Alrighty, what have we got? <laughs> 15 summer pies. Ah, uh, unfortunate. A spory kill number 13. Searching for that bucket still. Oh, no good. Well, this is literally like 15 minutes later, and I've just found myself another dragon impling, so that's uh, lucky as hell. 
And uh, two Dragonstone Amulets. Sweet. Two more glories to the bank. There we go, there is the Cold War quest complete. <laughs> One of the more fun quests in my opinion. And uh, yeah, the main reason I've done that was just for some free crafting XP for 2k. So very nice. And there we go, there is an Acra's Lament complete. And this is actually uh, pretty massive for me. Because as you can see, I get 57 crafting, also get 61 mining, but more importantly, that is 1500 total level, which is which is unreal, really. Can open up so many more worlds for me. And this uh, this amulet is actually really useful for when I want to switch to Ancients for Slayer. I can actually use this to get here, and it's right next to. I'll quickly show you the uh, the temple here, so I can change. Uh, I can't speak. Change uh, spellbook. Also, no need to worry. I made sure to bring an extra soft clay to get the helmet. There is level 77 farming. The spory kill number 14. Hopefully a bucket. No oh, unlucky. Finally finished with 27 sets of different bones. And this should be... Hope this dialogue is over. I'm going to take the bone sack here. I know a lot of people pick their helmet, but uh, I like to think the sack looks better. But there is rag and bone man 2 quest complete. Uh, it's felt like a bit of prayer XP, so I thought, why not? There we go, an extra 5k. Not bad. Not bad at all. There's the weekly rune crafting. I'll tell you what, I'd be lost without tears of Guffix. A 9k crafting XP, uh, rune crafting XP rather. Level 49. Just check the health on this tree real quick, and that should be level 78 farming. And there is the Spirits of the Elite quest done. A nice uh, 8k prayer XP after that one. And we get some pretty sweet robes. Picked up a medium clue from an eclectic impling in my travels, and I'm pretty sure this should be the last step. Yep, what do we get? Well, not much. Oh, some Nada teleports, nice. Just finishing up with everyone's favourite quest, one small favour. Should be just about done. Yeah, very nice. Two reward lands for 10k XP each, and the key ring, which I'm actually <laughs> was really looking forward to, because my bank is full as. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put it on Herblore. Nice 10k. And for the other one, I know it's probably not smart, but uh, I'm really craving some prayer XP. So go ahead and throw that on prayer, and that should get me to level 59. There we go, there is Swan Song completed. Get a nice 15k magic XP, which just got me to level 70, so I can now do a burst task in the future when I do get things like Dust Devils. Uh, 10k Prayer XP, 10k Fishing XP, and access to Fishing uh, Monkfish, which is actually a really nice AFK fishing spot if I want something apart from Karamblin. Just missed a level, but I hit level 58 crafting, and uh, I don't know if you could tell or not, but I'm really enjoying questing at the moment, so uh, I'm gonna continue on with that. I'm gonna go ahead and get 61 crafting for Lunar Diplomacy. So check out this getup I got on right here. Looking pretty sweet. Level 59 crafting. Level 60. And there we go, there's level 61. Time to go on with Lunar Diplomacy. And there we go, Lunar Diplomacy complete. It's actually a pretty fun quest. Two quest points, 5k magic and rune crafting XP. And I can now craft uh, Astral Runes whenever I get the runecrafting level. And also, speaking of runecrafting levels, there is level 50, which is actually awesome because I now have 50 base stats. So yeah, moving on up. And I did also manage to get a medium and a hard clue from that um, just while I was doing the quest. So I'll pump that out and then on to Dream Mentor. Here we go, another Hispori, number 17. What do we get? Oh, level 79 farming. Sweet. I'll take the Teak Seeds too. 
Finished off my clue scrolls from earlier. Uh, hopefully get some Alks because I am low on cash. First time, what do you get? Some nice tellies, hopefully. Muscle Harmless. Dig sight, not bad. And for the hard... <laughs> pretty shit. Oh, well, got a little bit of money from it. That's all I wanted. And there we go. There is Dream Mentor complete. It was actually one of the more scary quests I've done. Uh, it's actually in an instance, and I almost died my first attempt, and I would have lost a lot of shit. So, nice to get that out of the way. 15k hit points, 10k magic, and uh, yeah, a lot more Lunar spells as well now, too. Next on the agenda is King's Ransom, and also 72 hit points. Well, I'm an idiot. I completely forgot about this dreamy lamp that you get at the end of the quest. It actually gives you, I think it's either 10 or 15k XP in any of the combat skills apart from apart from prayer and something else attack. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it on range because that is my lowest. Be a nice 15k XP. There we go, there's King's Ransom quest done, 5k magic XP, 33k defense, and a 5k reward link, which I think I'm going to use on prayer. No, it's probably not the smart idea, but jeez, I'm craving some, craving some prayer experience. And now on to the Knight's Training Grounds. And there we go, there's the Knight's Training minigame complete, 20k each in attack, strength, defense, and hit points, so very nice. And also get access to chivalry and piloty once I uh, get the prayer levels needed. And that puts me on to the final grind, which honestly I've been putting off, <laughs> which is 70 prayer. So it's time to go kill some green dragons. First clue scroll from green dragons. Oh, nice. Guffix braces. Sweet. Just missed a level, but there is level 72 strength. Received another hard clue from green dragons. I actually need to complete fairy tale part two. So that's what I'm doing right now. 300 and 300 3500 herbal xp 2500 thieving also got a nice little skill lamp here which i think i'm going to throw straight on herbal as well and i should actually get me a level i think yep level 60 nice so i'll be back with the hard clue all right i got myself a casket a little bit of money that's all i really need right now nice just done my uh, daily bone meal at Robin and it actually got me to level 60 prayer which is a nice one because I can now use the prayer chivalry which would be good for flicking during this uh, green dragon grind. Just about to harvest myself a bottomless compost bucket. Oh no, nah, unlucky. This is definitely the highest amount of seaweed I've ever got but I actually got 84 giant seaweed from that run which is um, should be over 500 soda ash just in one run. So yeah, if you're an Iron Man, you're not doing these seaweed spores would highly recommend because it's some uh, some crazy crafting XP in this for very little work. Just gathering some more hop seeds and there is level 60 thieving. It's that time again where I open up a mystery box and get myself a stale baguette. Ooh, unlucky. Miff simmy. Got myself a beginner clue from a bird's nest. Oh, no uniques. Pretty awesome level coming in right here and that is level 80 farming. Which, um, I'm not sure if there's any unlocks but i tell you what, it sure does look nice. There's level 73 strength. We have a medium and an easy clue that I got in my travels. What do we get for? Oh, there's a nice unique. Bronze plate body G and for the medium. Uh, nothing too good. It's pretty uh, bonkers level coming in right here and that is level 85 hunter all through bird's nest. Gotta love it. There is level 74 strength. I do have roughly about 600 uh, dragon bones at the moment now. I did try and go to the wilderness altar, but as you can see in the chat box, I did get killed straight away. So, yeah, just decided to come back here and I'll kick around till 1kd bones. So, one thing I overlooked was actually in sold heads. I actually have a fair few in my bank. And, uh, yeah, just hit 63 prayer. It's now sitting at 1525 total. I have another hard casket from Green Dragons. And uh, just before I finished this hard clue, I actually went and finished off all the D-bones I had in my bank. Got me to level 68, so I only need just under 200 now, so getting really close. But uh, for the clue scroll, what do we got? Oh, damn, two pages, nice. Semi page three, ancient page one, some nice alcohol, alcohols in there too. Uh, is that a unique? No, it's a duplicate, unlucky. But that definitely is a unique for my Zemi page, I'm pretty sure it's my first one, nice. Here we are, finally at the last inventory of bones, just had enough. Anywhere it is, come on, give me that level, I've been waiting a long time for it. Level 70 prayer. Feels good, man. Can finally get the Mauritania hard diaries done out of the way and get on with some barrows. 
Here we go, it's the final task. Heidi at the altar, done. Just gotta have a yarn of old uh, Le Sabre over here. Let her know that I've done all my tasks. And there we go, it's the Moria Tenia legs free. And the nice little lamp here, which I'm gonna go ahead and throw on Herblor. There we go, enough 15k XP, sweet. And uh, if you didn't know, the entire reason why I was doing this because you do get 50% more runes at Barrows now with these legs. And also, I'll show you the teleport real quick. It gives you a very nice teleport. Really close to Barrows, I'll show you on the map right here. Right at Berg de Rot, so not far at all to travel. And also, there's a lot more um, nice rewards from this diary. You get, um, what do we got? You get the Bone Crusher, which is uh, it's going to be really useful in the Catacombs of Karen because it actually burying bones in the Catacombs restores your prayer by, by a little bit. So yeah, that'll be really useful for there. And uh, also get double Mortmire Fungo when casting Bloom. So yeah, some nice, nice rewards. Actually just got a quiz ring and a master as soon as I teleported here too. So hopefully it'll get, ah, cabbage. What a G out. But uh, anyways, with that, I got my goal accomplished for the episode. I'm really happy I got that over and done with. 70 prayer, the stats looking real nice now, 1532. Uh, quest points done a lot of questing as well. What are we sitting at now? 235, man. I'm not too far away from a quest crate. I do have some easy quests in there too. I know I've got Monk's friend still to do. Probably should have done that first, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, really happy with the progress. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, where we'll be getting started on some barrows.